Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you a, a chess video where I won in very unlikely circumstances. And this is where I actually used the king, my own king, to get a checkmate, having moved my king all the way up to the other side of the board. Now normally you shouldn't do this. Normally um, you should try to move your king as pot little as possible, but I managed to move my king all the way up to the other side of the board and get a checkmate with the help of the king in very unlikely circumstances. Let's see how this goes and it, in, it even includes an, a Botez Gambit by me which is basically a blunder. I blundered a queen. Okay, So I thought at this point all was lost. I was perhaps hoping for a draw. But I managed to pull off an unlikely checkmate. So let's watch. I started by moving um, my knight out. A lot of the time I plan usually not because I don't know how to play, but because it's more interesting when you do the unexpected. Nothing too unexpected so far. I believe this is even a standard opening. But I can't remember which. Now, once again, they've castled. Usually, this means they're doomed. All the experts tell you to castle, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. So I've lost already, I've lost a rook already. That was a blunder. And I've also blundered by my queen as well. I didn't spot that immediately. So I've so at this point I'm doing absolutely terribly. Um this is an unbelievably terrible position to be in. A terrible position to be in. Total blunders. What was I thinking? Absolutely dreadful. And I, I mean this, these were genuine blunders. So, okay, but I did get um, a rook out of it. And I've also lost a bishop. So at the moment, let's look at the situation. They're up by a queen so far, but I have a very bad position. I'm now going to start... Now, yeah, so essentially now they're up by um, a knight and a queen. And my position looks absolutely terrible. But I have a cunning plan. I notice their king's a bit pinned in. So I'm going to do what nobody thinks you should do. I'm not quite sure why I did this, but... As you can see, my king looks pinned in. This gives me some breathing room. That allows me to move the king up out the way of harm for now. Now it's really looking terrible. Why they did that, I have no idea. They could, I think they've been better off moving, moving um, this pawn down, even if it got took. Because then, I'm not, no, that's not what I meant to do. So that's just mouse trouble. Now, now 
No, I believe that's checkmate. So, okay, uh, it used to be quite nice, I can easily tell on the old system of this, but they've tweaked it for some stupid reason. So you can't see what's going on now so much. You can't, they don't have sort of hidden the um, history for some silly reason. But that looks definitely like checkmate to me. Anyway, just check, can't move it there, can't move it there. Can't move anything. Uh, that would have been that was been a stupid move. Anyway, I just realised that would have been stupid because if I'd have done that, if I'd done that, wait a minute, sorry. Oh dear. If I had done that, I've just realised I could take it off. So that would have been a stupid move, but but nonetheless, it would um. have to repair things because what I could do next is I could take that off even if I lose this it doesn't matter no not that I'll do it. so I've just got mouse trouble at the moment move that there not much I can really do. And they can't get me in check, it doesn't matter what they do. Okay, so they could do. Move that up there. That might cause some difficulties for a while but anyway let's go back oh no that's a stupid move anyway I'm, I'm going too deep into what could have happened so let's go back to what actually did happen anyway so this gave me breathing space this is going on from what really happened to move up. Now, as I said, they took a pawn instead. No idea why they did that. This allowed me to take one of their bishops. They're trying to clean up with the pawns. Stupidly, they did not spot, so they could take their knight straight off. Right, this allows me to move up the board, which is what I want to do, because I have a cunning plan. So, therefore, I've decided to do this to encourage them to move the queen out of the way. They're now trying to get a queen, but they never actually managed to for some reason. I take a pawn instead, which seems like a stupid move, but it's all part of a plan. This is exactly where I wanted the king to be. But it looks at the moment in a terrible place. And it looks extremely vulnerable. We've both pretty much got a similar idea.
no idea what that's all about. I've don't really get what that's about either, but I think they have an idea, but I have a better one. So now, I move my bishop purely to attack that square, that square, and that square. Now let's see what they do. For some really stupid reason, they take a pawn. This allows me to move my rook here. Now, it says, And here, if I move that there, then I will be in trouble, potentially. The only thing to do to stop it, which won't be much useful, is to move there. And there's not much I can do now, it's pretty much over. But anyway, so this is an alternative of what they could have done, but they didn't. Then I could have done this. Sorry, I mean, they could have done this. I know, so... I suppose I just did something for the sake of it. And then that wasn't what I wanted to do. And then from here, and yep, checkmate because they can't move there, can't move there, can't move there. So I could not have got out of that. But let's go back again to what really happened. I'm going to go back further again. I'm going to repeat what I showed you before, which you've probably forgotten most of it. So, they took this pawn for some strange reason. I took their bishop. And they said, they lost their knight. I'm sure that was a blunder. Unless they had some very clever plan that I'm not aware of. And this was to protect, they were trying to take my bishop, but that was to protect the bishop and threaten their queen at the same time. They're very close to getting a queen, a second queen, but they probably don't think they need one. They've got overconfidence. They move that one, no idea what all that's about, maybe they spot what I'm about to do. The Queen dared and take my um Bishop at the moment, it thinks well never mind, um it's not too worried at the moment, but it should be. 
They then move this, I think, to give themselves some breathing room regarding the king. They've spotted slightly what I'm up to, but it's too late. I move this out of the way. Although I'm not sure if I even needed to do it. To be honest, I don't think I even needed to do that. I think that was probably an unnecessary move. But it looked as if it was non-threatening. For some reason they took a pawn, I've no idea why. For some totally weird unknown reason, you'll notice how this... Where the evaluation bar went from them winning to me winning now. So they moved this pawn. My next move, checkmate. I just moved the um, rook down and I cannot take it because of my king. They cannot move there because of my king and because of the bishop. They cannot move there because of the rook. And I cannot move there because of the bishop. Now I realised I'd done an unnecessary move and I should have just gone straight forward. But to some extent, by moving the bishop, it probably offered some sort of decoy. And So, if instead of, I hadn't done that, oh, I see why I had to do it. No, I had to do it, because if I'd have gone straight to that, then we'd have taken it off. Then I would have been in deep trouble. So I did have to move it after all. So, yeah, I had to move this out of the way, so that it would protect it. They thought, great, I've got a pawn, you sucker. I'll never know why they did that. But the next move, as I said, checkmate, when you consider that if you look at it, I had, at this point, before they move their pawn over, before they move that pawn, the evaluation thinks that I have thinks I'm I won't win. I think if they do the best possible move, I cannot possibly win, according to their evaluation bar. But as I said, somehow, because they blundered, I managed to get a checkmate, even though. They had, I had just, just a minute, sorry, just a bit of problems. Um, even though I, they were, I, they were queen up, and I was a bishop up. They had several pawns, and one, two, three, four pawns, one, two, three, four, five pawns, I had one pawn. They had a pawn that looked as if it was about to become a queen at any point. So, they could simply, I said, they could have moved this, check. I would then have 
Had to move there. As is the only legal move. Here we go check. Usually people move to the centre of the board. Can't take my queen. Let's take that. That's even better. Then they lose a bishop because there's nothing they can do to stop it. And now a bishop down. Not much they can really do now. That's threatened my queen. looking in trouble and I would be already looking in trouble I mean at this point not they I um, and then they could just say okay well, I'll just go for the go for Queen If I did even something like that, I could just take it off. Well, I'm saying that if I had to play the person, you know. No, it's just a matter of realistically, all white could try and do now is get a stalemate. That's all I could realistically try to achieve. But because, as I said, going back, it really happened. Because they moved that, it meant in one move I got checkmate. And you would not have thought just from that position it was a checkmate because it just um, we have so many pawns and a rook and a queen. Whereas, uh, as I said, my rook and bishop on the surface didn't look in a very good position. Did you notice that it was possible to get checkmate from there just by moving the rook? So there you go guys, an unlikely checkmate even if you blunder your pieces. Thanks for watching, bye!